Hey everybody, um, I'm going to do a little video here on how to set up your app for the first time. So we're going to talk about just registering a new account and then we'll go through the whole controller setup for like a, a brand new controller. So if you want to follow along with me on the phone, we'll walk through a little setup here. Um, so we're going to open the app. I'm already in an account here, so I'm just going to log out and we're going to create a new account so we'll have to register a new user so we'll just create a new account so put your name first and last or just first doesn't matter i'll put my name in here so my email you can i'm just going to use a test email here so i'm going to use test one two three and then we'll put it at hotmail Dot com and then give it a password I'm just gonna use uh, we'll use welcome as a password and then confirm your password you can also hit the thing so you can see your what you're typing in so welcome so I got my name my email and a password set so I can hit register Okay, so the next step here is to select your location. Now, the reason we put in our location is we want it to show, we want the app to be able to find, know your um, exact coordinates for setting the sunset sunrise schedules. So when you set a schedule, you want your lights to come on at sunset or sunrise, this is what does that. So give the location a name. Most people use home, you can use whatever you want. Um, enter address. So if I'm in Tisdale, I'm gonna say Tisdale. Saskatchewan Canada so it gets my location then I just hit done so that's all we have to do so now this next step if you read it it says connect your connect to your controllers Wi-Fi network show home and then there'll be a bunch of numbers and then tap connect to proceed so this next step we need to actually connect to the controllers Wi-Fi in order to proceed with the actual setup of the controller so if you slide down, I'm using an iPhone here. I don't normally use iPhones, but I, I borrowed a friend just for this example because most people have them. So if you bring this down, you hold your finger on the Wi-Fi button and then hold it again. It'll bring up your list of networks. Here you can look for the show home one. So I have two controllers here. The one I'm trying to set up is this, this one at the bottom, the 70A04. So I'm going to hit that. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to tap anywhere out of this screen to go back. Now... People have an issue sometimes with their mobile data being on and because there's no actual Wi-Fi signal that come, or you can't access the internet through the controller's Wi-Fi, it creates an issue because your phone will automatically want to bypass the, the controller's Wi-Fi and go through the data, which messes up the whole install process. So the best way to get around this is to either put it in airplane mode, which I'm going to do right now, or turn off your cellular, cellular data, which mine's already off because this one doesn't have a cell phone network connected to it, but airplane mode works, so I would try that first. So then tap out of the screen again to go back, tap again, and then you're back into the controller. You can hit connected, and a little pop-up will come up and say, this is a new controller setup. Looks like the controller is not registered yet. Do you want to set up this new controller? Hit set up. Now here's where you can put in your LED counts. So if you have G, the controller will be labeled with the different GPIO outputs. So there's four different outputs. There's GPIO 16, 17, uh, 15, and 18. So here is where you, you take those outputs that you have your LEDs plugged into. You count how many lights you have on each output and you put it in for your length. So if you have 40 on GPIO 16, you put 40. And then if you have some more lights on say GPIO 17, you hit plus and then you add GPIO 17. And if you count how many lights you have on that output. So if you have more on that output, you say have 65 lights on that output, you put that in there. And then same goes for the rest. If uh, you have more outputs, you just keep adding. Uh, you can go put GPIO 18. And if you also are using GPIO 15, you can put that in as well. <clears throat> um, the reverse part of it is if you say have your controller in the middle of the house and you want all the lights to stream in one direction. So say 
you're using just GPIO 16 and GPIO 17, if you reverse one of those, then it'll all flow into one continuous direction across the house. So you can always come back to this later and change it if you don't get it right, but this is just kind of set up your initial setup for your controller. So do whatever you need to do, get it as close as you can. If you overshoot on your numbers of LEDs, that's fine. Like you can overshoot by 50 if you want. It doesn't really harm your effects or anything like that. But you can always come in and fine tune it later and get the exact numbers and I'll show you how to do that after. So once you get that set up, just simply hit done. And then now you can scan for your Wi-Fi. So you wanna hit scan button. It might not work the first time, so just give it a sec. If it still says no network found, hit scan again. Usually it always works on the second time. Well, it actually always works on the second time. Then hit the drop down and then select your home network. Actually, I gotta run and grab my password. Okay, so I'm gonna put my password in. So I got my network selected, I'll put my password in. make sure you get it right I know it's a usually an issue people always kind of mess up their passwords it's easy to do but um, if you have any capitals or anything make sure you get that correct so after you do that you can hit done now it'll say this it'll say registering a controller with a communication service but it requires an active internet connection so what you need to do is switch back to your home Wi-Fi so go back hold on the Wi-Fi button hold again and then connect back to your home Wi-Fi and go back to the app and then just wait. It'll tell you that it's registering the controller to the database. And then as soon as it's done that, it brings up the app. So you've completed the setup at this point. Um, you can use the app, change your colors, um, play with schedules. I'll have more videos out on all of that kind of stuff. You got your global presets, your effects, um, segments, all that stuff uh, in here which is good to note, <clears throat> there's also install manuals. So if you're doing an install or just setting up, so there's the cloud app setup guide, which we already did. There's also the user manual. So you can go into here and it shows you kind of a quick run through of how the app works and all the different features inside there. So it's good to have a look at that if you just set up your app. And then if you're installing your lights and stuff, um, you can actually access this before you register your controller. If you set up your account, you don't even actually have to register your controller yet. You can go into these manuals and look. So like here we have, you know, our power injection guide for how to run your power injection on your lights. So all that kind of stuff is useful. This stuff's also on our website. So most people will pull it from that. And you should have got an email if you bought a kit on with all the manuals and stuff in it. So you can set that up. So I just want to run through one more thing real quick. If you, did mess up your LED counts, this is how you go back and change them. So hit the drop down in the top corner, go to controller settings, and then you'll see this is your controller. So this is the controller registered to your account, the one you just set up. Hit these three little dots in the corner and go to edit. Now to edit the controller LED settings, you have to go back to the actual controller itself or the controller Wi-Fi. So do that again, go back, hold down, uh, select the controller Wi-Fi, go back, hit connected, and then here you'll have your um, the LED settings that you already set up. So we got them here. So if you need to make a change, whatever, we can change that to 60. And uh, this one we want to change to 80 because we didn't have enough. And then hit done Wi-Fi. I don't know why my home network's not showing up now. Isn't technology great? There it is. Okay, so there, I've changed my settings, added some more LEDs. Now you can just play with the app, it should be working. Um, if there's any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, you can always reach out to me at Steve at Show Home Lighting. Um, there's quite a few ways to get a hold of me if you're having issues 
and we usually get back to you within 24 hours if not right away so give us a shout if you have any problems if not then uh, enjoy using your lights thanks